All right, good morning. It's good to be back. I've been away for a little over a week, been a little vacay. And uh, the whole time I was away, all I could think about was getting back to writing. So, um, yeah, super excited to be back and really want to bring some heavy, heavy funk. So let's see um, what the groove is for today. Shrink this down a bit. Oh, and you may notice that uh, I now have a crotch cam because I figured that's something that people wanted to see more of um, instead of this, get some more of this. It, it's actually more of a guitar cam, but uh, right now it's a crotch cam. So enjoy. So that's the gist of the groove that we're going to be working with this morning. I just can't wait to get into this, so let's fire up the guitar. Aha, see now, now the crotch can make sense. Let's see if I can find a comfortable position. And because of the crotch cam, I now have to put pants on, which is a whole new thing for me. I have to pull my wallet out because... Ah, that's better. All right, now let's turn the guitar on. All right, I'll tune up. Um, give me a second. Do 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 tuning e e e e b. Of course, is out of tune. I put this thing for in for a setup two weeks ago, but it hasn't been right since. Like, it will not. The G and B strings will not stay in tune. Even having a little problem with the D string, which is unusual. See, so, well, you don't see that, but uh, it's a little flat. So I got to bring it back into the shop. Um, Let's see what we're going to get out of this, huh? That's a good start. I'm pleasant. I'm, 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 I'm happy with that. Let's see if we can tighten that up.
All right. I am really happy with that. Let's, uh, I'm going to actually record a bit, see if I can drop a bass line on that. Uh, count me in. Where'd my drums go? Where's my groove? I gotta fix that. Something going on with Studio One where if the track is set to record and monitor, it doesn't play back. Um, even though I'm not recording on that on that particular track. So let's just start again. Why won't you move over to the one? Thank you. So let's see, that was a F9. F9 to sliding up to a G9 without we don't need to really, might not need to take that into consideration.
bass line's going nowhere. Um, let's... getting tired. Closer, getting somewhere. Oh, I need a spot of tea. And back into it. Let's drop the guitar out and just play. Let's funk it up with the with the groove. Okay, that seems to be working. Let's bring the guitar back in, see if that makes sense. Drop some notes in here. Ugh, back to the 
triplets. Go back to... Okay. Two bar phrase. Yeah. No, longer, make it longer. Get last. Yeah. So that sounds in a loop. Sounds just dumb. Let's rock this up from E. Let's go backwards to the G. something. I'm not in love with it, but it's definitely something. Um, of course, I'm crushing my frames per second every time I play through this, uh, mess around with the, with the bass um, information. <laughs> Try the octave. All 
right, let's let's double that. Let's see if it gives a little more character. Definitely. All right. So I'm gonna duplicate this track. This one. We'll get the bass. This one we'll get more of the trebly sound and blend them together. Oh, and I also have, I have to remember that I have my headphones on, which have absolute terrible bass response. So if I can hear the bass in my headphones. It's screaming everywhere else. <laughs> so anybody listening is going to hear just probably just mud. I'm not in love with it, but it's got legs. Let's see if the next part comes together. Give that a shot.
Okay. All right, not bad, not bad. Um, write a little guitar part to that. So we're messing around in well, the the root notes, the bass notes are B and A. Going from an F9 or G minor. No, that's not G minor. Closer to an F9. So now we're, our root notes are B and A. That seems to be the best one. Um, so let's get that down and see if it makes any sense altogether. I do want to hear my bass line though.
Hmm. Not terrible. gonna forge ahead and see what happens it's not bad but it's not good it's something right something to show for it This third groove here, maybe this will yield something decent. My G string again. That's a baseline.
We'll stop on that G, okay. Alright, so if you write that in, that's... I like that bass line, I like that as a bass line. Come on, come on, come on, give it to me. All right, all right, I'm feeling it. What if we double this into the wah bass? Oh, now we're getting sexy. Eh, we're sexing it up. Take this middle part here, drag that out for a bit, because I, th I think I want to turn that into, because it gets dark there, it gets darker, it feels like, um, so I almost want to use that as a sort of a dark bridge, um, or even just a, you know, 
a quick modulation into another feel. But let's see if these two go together. A little bit. It's not as smooth as I would like. down to here, get them out of the way. I want to uh, reverse these parts. Uh, repeat twice, and then, or do you repeat once? I guess you repeat once. Um, and then bring in the dark change. not in love with all of it. There are parts that I like. There are parts I don't like. Um, let's see. Let's see if we do something about the parts I don't like. If I can identify them. I think that part I like. You get the, the driving, the bouncing bass line with uh, it's a little shimmer underneath with the guitar. Mm-hmm. 
this little second phrase here. Let's see if I can get rid of the guitar. Maybe write another guitar part for that. This has a slightly, has a much lower character, darker character as well. So maybe I want to make the guitar a little darker. track so that I can get more guitar out of this one. Let's give that a shot. See what that does in context. Oops. No. Don't want to record over the stuff that I've already written. Give me my groove.
Interesting. So now what if we start with this again? So it starts off subtle. And then comes and punches you in the face. Back to subtle. Hello. All right, let's pull this dude back again. Take these dudes and drag them to the end. Good. And let's try. Oh. And then this art, this dark change here. And let's check out the arrangement. Just opens up. I love that. It's like stays. It starts off so closed, and then it just opens up, and then <laughs> back to being closed. different. I'm liking this more and more now. I just gotta just gotta grind it out, right? One thing I am noticing is in the open part, I'm gonna call it the open part now. There's a section where everything drops out. I feel like that should be filled in with a little, a little slide or something, a little guitar embellishment. All right, um, ba 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 ba. Let's tighten up the guitar parts. Let's tune up again. The D string that's fucking everything up? Yeah, it might be. All right. 
let's start with the closed portion. Playing. That's right. Do, 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 Rushing it again. Pretty good. I'll take that. Now let's duplicate this track. Okay, so now I know what I'm playing there. Mute that, record that, don't set that, yada yada. I think I might need a little more volume just so I can hear the guitar. Sure, that sounds a little slide in there. It'd be great if I was playing in time. That's 
any better, any tighter. Still sounds like I'm rushing through it. definitely better and then to keep it at that pace wasn't flawless, but maybe acceptable. Not acceptable. It's not hitting it. better but I thought that before
crushing it again. I gotta relax. Go with the groove. Jeez. Why are you be so tense? Yeah, it's getting a little better as I'm relaxing. better. It's definitely groovier. Um, the notes could be a little better articulated. Too early with it. That's better. Mm. Ridiculous. little strip tease for y'all. <laughs> Great start. Thank you. 
one felt pretty good. No, oh, it's terrible. That's not even the right chord. I got blisters on me fingers. Is it at least a good rhythm? It was a little fast on the first one, and then, then I fell into the groove, but Ooh, it's just killing me. Kill me, Billy. <sighs> I like the way the, the chords were articulated there. I'm just gonna have to comp that because I'm tired and I need to go to back to work. Um, so I'll just dice that up to get the right performance. <clears throat> and let's see. 
let's see what magic we've created before I sign off. want to come into the open part after the really dark so out from the open change I think I want to come back into the closed part. There's more of a shift in um, tone, feeling. And there you have it. <laughs> Something. <laughs> um, all right. Another song a day done, at least for the streaming. I'll spend the rest of the day <laughs> cleaning this up and mixing and releasing through um, all the major streaming platforms, Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music. And uh, these are strictly background tracks for um, live streams. So you'll be able to use these in your live streams. Um, if you go to streampigs.com, you can start to see the playlist. Uh, the playlist is starting to build um, with all of these song and day challenges. And um, yeah, there's more tracks that are still have yet to be released that are uh, waiting in the wings. And then just like this, every day, another track will be uploaded. Um, so thanks for hanging out tomorrow morning. Uh, we're going to get back together same time r roughly. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Goodbye. Good luck. <laughs>